Hello, I'm Bruce Marshall from Emerson Swan, and today we're going to be talking about steam systems and how they function. A steam system is a very simple machine. It has no moving parts whatsoever, and aside from the boiler, the most important component in the system is the steam vent. I have in front of me a collection of steam vents, all made by the, by the Ventrite Valve Corporation, which has been manufacturing steam vents in the United States for over 70 years. This side, of, on my right, these are primarily commercial application vents. These valves over here on my left are residential applications, and those are what we're going to be focusing on today. The first vent we're going to look at is the vent right number 11 probably the most common vent found in a residential steam system. As you can see, it's an angle vent, and this is tapped midway into the side of the radiator. The function of this vent is to let air out of the system. So as the boiler creates steam, it has to push the air in the, in the system, in the pipes and the radiator, out through this vent. When your system is cold, the entire system is full of air. So as the boiler makes steam, the steam travels up the pipe, it pushes the air ahead of it. The only thing you should ever hear when this is working the way it's supposed to is the whoosh of air coming out of this vent as the steam pushes the air out of the system. If you see steam coming out of this vent, it's time to replace the vent. So the next vent we're going to talk about is the vent right number one. And this vent offers you some features that the number 11 does not have, and one of which is the ability to vary the amount of venting. And that's accomplished simply by turning this wheel, which has graduated numbers from one to eight, one being the most difficult to vent, eight being the easiest. And this allows you to control the speed with which the radiator will vent air out. By placing these on all the radiators, you are now able to balance your system. By making it more difficult to vent one radiator and easier to vent another one, you can control the speed with which the system will heat up. Some residences have built-in wall convector radiators. Now, these radiators are in cabinets that are installed in the wall, and there's not enough room inside the cabinet to spin an angle-type vent like these two. And this is where the vent right number 31 comes in, and as you can see, it's designed to screw into the top of the radiator inside the cabinet. And now we're going to talk about what is probably the most important vent in the entire system, and that's the main vent, or vent right number 35. And as you can see, this is a little different from the other vents in that it is larger. Its main function is to vent the main steam pipe, it's the main pipe coming out of the boiler, vent the air very, very quickly in order to get steam into the system very quickly. This vent is typically located 8 to 10 inches back from the last elbow in the system, and typically it would be uh, 6 inches or so above this T. The action, the sequence of events, is that the steam coming down the pipe pushes the air ahead of the, the steam. It's vented out through the vent, which is represented by this green line, and when the steam hits the vent, the vent closes. Sometimes we see vents in this location, right on this elbow, this last elbow, and this is not a good location for it because a lot of things can happen at this elbow. Uh, it's very possible to get water up into the vent. Uh, there's a lot of condensate being travel, traveling down this pipe ahead of the steam. And steam is traveling through the system at upwards of 60 miles per hour. And if there's any condensate left over in this pipe, it could come flying down this pipe, hit this elbow, cause a condition known as water hammer. If the vent is in this location, it's going to get damaged. It's one of the reasons why we like to see it back upstream of this elbow. Well, I hope this has been helpful to you in understanding what's going on in your steam system and more importantly, how these vents work. If you have further questions, you can contact your service provider. And if they have questions, they can certainly contact us. And finally, don't forget this little guy, this little forgotten guy that's down in the basement, the most important vent in your system, the main vent. Thank you for watching.